Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is, sorry, a vlog of the Phoenix Auto Show. So we're starting here with the European cars. So here we have, here we have Porsche with the Cayenne and the Macan. And BMW is Exactly nobody and everybody. So yeah, the Toyota Crown. It just looks good in my opinion. It's the typical 23 vehicle. Anyways, cruising right along to Chevy. We will be going to the very back to explore the all-new Colorado. We're going to explore the all here we have 
the new Blazer Electric. It is an electric version of Chevy's all new Blazer. And there's also an, uh, an electric version of Chevy's Equinox, which also looks pretty good. And uh, going around to the back of the cars. Here we have the new Colorado. This is the Trail Boss trim, the Trail Boss edition of the. It looks different, and it's been a while since we had a new, uh, a new uh, Chevy Colorado. Like it's been seven years here in America. We've been getting bored and I'm pretty sure everyone's been getting bored of it. So they finally chose to update it for 24 and reveal the new one. To be honest, I think it's about time and I think I want to look inside of it. Oh, this has got that. So here the inside of the new 2024 Colorado. It has seats, not a lot of leg room. Uh, it's good in my opinion. I really like the way it looks. It's cool to say the least. It's cool. Either way, I am going to look around here. Firstly, at the new. Firstly, at some of the new Kia. Here we have the new Kia K5. It looks so cool. It is one of the nicest new cars on the market. Just aren't selling too much. It just—they just aren't. And Kia, Hyundai, so many brands are just exceptions to the rule. So yeah, uh, there is the new Celtos here. That is refreshed for the 20. That is refreshed for 24. Yep. I'm not sure if it's the refresh. This looks more like the outgoing Seltos. So it isn't the upcoming refreshed Seltos. Uh, I wonder if the refreshed Seltos is here or they're not keeping that. So there is the Kia Carnival, the all new model from Kia. It came to Kia's market like here in the United States like a few years ago, last year to replace the Sedona, I think. 
Yeah, I think I replaced the Sedona like last year. And this is the all new Kia Nero.
20, well, it's the refresh 2023 escape. Looking a little different, a little more aggressively made. And here is the Super Duty. I'm going to look at this one in some time. First, I'm going to go walk across the carpet to the old one. Here is the old outgoing Super Duty. They are both F-350s. Okay, go check this. So, in my opinion, this truck is massive. Two steps in. Sold. And I'm just 
glad they're still selling the classic model. Because it's just a cherished vehicle, the classic. In my opinion, it's nice looking. Here we have the interior of the classic model. And, uh, yeah. So that pretty much sums up this side uh, of it. And lastly, but not, but not so least, we have Chrysler. I don't think I got, never mind. So yeah, so here we have Chrysler with their three models. It's the same routine every year. Pacifica and 300. They did have the Voyager this year. They did have the Voyager, which they introduced for 2021. But then they just threw it away again. Like, why? Why did they throw it away? after just a year. Here we have the top of the line pinnacle model of the Pacifica. And uh, it's the top of the line. It's been there for centuries. It's been there for a few years at this point. I honestly don't get why. It's fleet exclusive at this point, but yeah, same deal every year with Chrysler. And that pretty much sums up this video. The Phoenix Auto Show was in summary shorter this year and a little less exciting, but at least I got to see a few new models. So yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for next time. Have a great day, everyone. Peace. And here we have the brand new Dodge Format. It is a Dodge's, I think, subcompact crossover model. A performance subcompact crossover from Dodge. It looks pretty sleek, to say the least. Sleek and... It looks extremely sleek and... Hey guys, so this is my outro. I just wanted to say I had a lot of fun at the show, but the only thing is that they forfeited it considerably this year. Like, it consisted of less brands. Very few luxury equivalents were present this year. And, like, they just, you know, chose to cut it down. I guess the size of it, they just wanted to cut it down. I don't know why. But I actually later heard that they're going to be getting it smaller and smaller each year because they want to focus more on, like, outdoor events and people getting to actually drive their cars. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it for this video. I will probably be doing a... My next video coming up will be a review on every Christmas Thomas episode. That's about it. See you guys later.